Throughout history, arches have been used as symbols of freedom, symbols of a movement. The Arc de Triomphe in Paris symbolizes the strength of France in the early 19th century. The Gateway Arch in St. Louis symbolizes America's expansion into the great unknown of the West. Built with concrete and steel, these structures are the epitome of the strength of a united people, optimistic of what the future holds for them. So, too, are the people of West Virginia, and that quality is exemplified in the two arch structures of the Fairmont Gateway Connector, welcoming great opportunity into this historic city. The Gateway Connector will also contain a traffic control method relatively new to West Virginia, the method of roundabouts. In the last couple of years, communities around the country have chosen to manage traffic using roundabouts. Roundabouts move traffic through an intersection without the use of traffic signals. Compared to illuminated traffic signals, roundabouts have many advantages. In addition to increasing roadway capacity and improving traffic circulation, they help decrease vehicle emissions, but the most significant advantage is safety. Roundabouts reduce the number of traffic injuries because roundabouts reduce speeds. While the Gateway Connector will not be open to traffic until this fall, it's important that motorists and emergency service personnel be familiar with the concept of roundabouts before the connector is open. So, what about the rules of the road? How do we drive through a roundabout? And who has the right-of-way? During the next few minutes, these questions will be answered. You'll see firsthand how roundabouts circulate traffic, but most importantly, you'll learn how to safely travel through a roundabout. So, hop in, let's take a drive. If all drivers act responsibly, if they follow the rules and pay attention, an intersection can be a safe place to be. But if someone makes a mistake, or is distracted, busy talking on the phone, or has had too much to drink, the consequences can be deadly. That's why we're seeing more and more modern roundabouts in communities across the country and around the world. And from where I'm standing, seems like a really good idea. Communities throughout the state are considering a new method of moving traffic. Please join us for a short introduction to the Modern Roundabout. If you are unfamiliar with the Modern Roundabout, then you should know it is designed to improve traffic capacity and save lives. It is better for the environment and really easy to maneuver. Unlike traditional intersections where traffic stops and waits, a modern roundabout is a circular intersection that converts all entering movements into right turns. There are no traffic signals or stop signs, but there are yield signs at every entrance to the roundabout. Also, because of its geometric design, it has the ability to calm traffic and reduce delays. Here's how it works. As you approach the roundabout, think about where you're going and how you're going to get there, and then pull into the marked lane that will take you there. Next, slow down. The design of the modern roundabout actually leaves no choice but to go slowly. As you slow down, you will look to your left, and if there's traffic already in the roundabout, you yield. That means stop and let them pass. When the traffic is cleared and there's an opening, you may proceed through the roundabout. Again, slow down as you approach. Move into your proper lane, look left, Yield to traffic on your left and move right. And then just exit the roundabout in the direction you want to go. That's it, really. Motorists at modern roundabout intersections don't face traffic lights. They do slow down and they are required to pay attention. It's as simple as that. And an alternative to this. An ordinary intersection. How many times have you witnessed irresponsible drivers speed up to make it through a very red light? Or fly past a stop sign as if it didn't exist? For their victims, just one time is too many. Across America and around the world, governments, engineers, the insurance industry, and ordinary citizens have researched the problems with irresponsible and careless driving looking for ways to make our streets and roadways safer. The answer is an old idea with a modern twist. It's called the Modern Roundabout, and it works phenomenally well. 
Unlike a traditional intersection where traffic stops and waits for a turn to cross, a modern roundabout is a circular intersection that converts all entering movements into right turns. There are no traffic signals or stop signs. Because of its geometric design, it has the ability to calm traffic, reduce delays, and most importantly, reduce accidents. Here's how it works. As you approach the roundabout, signs will indicate the traffic flow. It is important to know where you are headed before you enter the roundabout. Then, pull into the marked lane that will take you there. Next, slow down. The design of the modern roundabout actually leaves no other choice but to go slowly. Speeds drop to 20 to 25 miles per hour. Yield left. As you slow down, you will look to your left, and if there is traffic already in the roundabout, you yield. That means stop and let them pass. Once traffic is cleared and there is an opening, you may proceed through the roundabout. Again, slow down as you approach, move into your proper lane, look left, yield to traffic on your left, and move right. Then, just exit the roundabout in the direction you want to go. Whether driving through a traditional intersection or a modern roundabout, the most important safety element remains the driver behind the wheel. By learning what the signs mean and following the rules, you can help protect yourself, your family, and your neighbors. Many drivers are unfamiliar with a modern roundabout. It is not the same as the original circular intersection designs that were introduced in the early part of the 20th century. Paris, Rome, and New York City were amongst the first to adopt them. Unfortunately, these early designs gave priority to entering vehicles. This flaw facilitated high-speed entries, a lot of accidents, and a huge problem with traffic congestion. Modern roundabouts use what was learned from these early mistakes. Redesigned in the 1960s, the center island and entry lanes were reshaped to cause traffic to slow down and to give right-of-way to vehicles in the roundabout. The rules of a modern roundabout require drivers to yield at entry. You must first slow down, look left, and before entering, yield to the traffic already in the roundabout. Europe and Australia have had great success using this new design. In 1990, the first modern roundabout was built in the United States, and since then, many communities across the country have enthusiastically embraced it. Because there are no stop signs or lights, the traffic can flow into and through the intersection without long delays. In this way, the roundabout is able to handle increased traffic without congestion. More vehicles can pass through the intersection in a shorter period of time. Additionally, the stream of continuously moving traffic reduces both fuel consumption and air pollution. Vehicles do not sit at idle as they do at intersections controlled by traffic signals and must move slowly through a modern roundabout. Modern roundabouts are safer and cost-effective too. They typically use less land and they are easier to maintain than intersections with traffic signals. Perhaps the greatest advantage to modern roundabout designs is that they're safer. The mere fact that drivers must slow down and yield before entering greatly reduces the number of accidents, injuries, and fatalities. In dozens of communities around the country where modern roundabouts have already been introduced, safety has improved. The Insurance Institute for Highway Safety reports that a modern roundabout can reduce accidents by 75% and fatal accidents by up to 90%. Even emergency responders have noticed the remarkable difference. Just another good reason why many neighborhoods and local governments support the installation of modern roundabouts. What about large vehicles like trucks, semis, and RVs? That's not an issue. The geometric design allows all vehicles to navigate all turning movements through the roundabout. The apron is there to give larger vehicles a little extra space to maneuver through the roundabout. What happens if there's a fire truck or a police car? Just like any other situation, traffic must yield to all emergency vehicles. Exit the roundabout at your first opportunity and pull as far to the right as safely possible. If I'm walking and I want to get across the intersection, what do I do? Use crosswalks and use caution. Pedestrians have the right of way, but as a pedestrian, don't assume drivers will stop for you. Make sure cars stop before you enter the crosswalk. When we get to a roundabout, do we walk our bike across or ride our bike across? Either. If you are riding, follow the rules of the road. If you are walking your bike, 
use the crosswalks, and use caution. What if I'm pulling a horse or a boat trailer? This is similar to driving a semi or other large vehicle. Don't forget, it's okay for you to drive on the apron if you need to. What if I have an accident in the roundabout? If your car is drivable, exit the roundabout and pull as far to the right as safely possible. Who has the right of way when everyone arrives at the same time? It is safe for any or all of the drivers to enter the roundabout since the traffic will be staggered at each entry point. Just remember, the traffic inside the roundabout has the right of way. I always get confused about yielding and merging. What's the difference? When approaching a roundabout, you never merge. All approaching motorists must yield. When yielding, you are responsible for stopping for traffic in the lane you wish to enter. You must wait for a break in the traffic before entering the lane or roundabout. Remember, at the modern roundabout, all traffic entering the roundabout must yield. We wait until it is safe to enter. The modern roundabout is an alternative to the traditional intersection. It is also more fuel efficient, creates less pollution, moves traffic, saves tax dollars, and the modern roundabout is safer. And that is most important to everyone. Thank you for watching, and please drive safely. Thank you for joining us for this informative look at the Roundabout Project. If you'd like more information on roundabouts or the Fairmont Gateway Connector, please visit the West Virginia Department of Transportation's website. And here's the address, www.transportation.wv.gov.